Good morning, everybody. RV living with the geezer. And I'm over here. This might be the one of about three businesses that are in the big town of Peaster, Texas. I'm over here in Peaster, and that's where Blanca's vet is. It's a little bit of a drive from Boyd. It takes me about 45 minutes to get over here, but it's a really a good vet, so it's worth it. And I'm I got her medicine refilled and uh, for three months. So that was an owie to the old pocketbook. That's just the way it goes. This Peaster High School right here. And for a little town, they've got a big school. <clears throat> but Peaster's only uh, maybe seven miles from Weatherford. And so they, you know, between here and Weatherford, <clears throat> are a lot of subdivisions so uh they draw the kids from that i guess but uh yeah they got a big old school here they're the peaster greyhounds and i can remember that because that's where i went when i went to school i went to bernie b-o-e-r-n-e -E, texas down in the hill country and uh they were the greyhounds so let's see here. Yeah. I just circle around the block here and this get us back to uh, the road that goes back home. But yeah, just ran over here. I left Blanca at home this morning and uh, just run over here and get her medicine. And then they're going to transfer her records back out to uh, her doctor that's in Alpine who's also a good a good doctor but uh <clears throat> this one here was this gal here was pretty good she's she put her on the right medicine for that heart heart problem so all right guys i guess we're in the that's a big old dip right there i didn't even see it coming uh we're, i guess this is the residential area there's a house for sale uh, it looks like a definite Fixer upper. I guess this is a residential area of Peaster, P E A S T E R, Texas. T E X A. Oh, y'all don't. Y'all don't need me to spell Texas. Oh, look, new homes. Look, somebody built, some builder came in here and they slapped them up. Probably all the same floor plan. Yeah. Yeah, they got a regular little old subdivision going over here. And right across the street, they got stables. I tell you, this is horse country over here. Weatherford produces some pretty good cowboys come out of Weatherford. On the pro uh, circuit, yeah. Yeah. That's the old, that's the old fire department there. That's an old building. Wow. Yep. See everything here. RVs and some modern homes and some older homes. And Like I say, they have a Dollar General, and they have a little convenience store, and that vet, and that, to my knowledge, is just about, and whatever this is, looks like they're putting in another convenience store right here on the corner. Those are, that looks like gas, yes, yeah, gas pumps going in. So, uh. Yeah, I'll leave this running for a little bit. I think this drive between here and uh, Poolville, which is about six or seven miles, is uh, one of the prettiest up here in this area. So I'll just, I'll leave the camera going. We get into some rolling hills and uh, it's all, uh, all horse ranches in here. Cattle, cattle and horses. 
there's an old house right there. Looks like we're in really good shape. But uh, yeah, yeah, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I just wanna, I wanna thank all y'all. Uh, I noticed I lost three subscribers yesterday. Must have been something I said. I don't know. But uh, I wanna thank everybody for sticking with me the time that I've been up here. Uh, when I left West Texas, my channel was, it was really growing. It, it, for me, it was, it was, it was growing pretty rapidly. And I was really afraid that move, moving up here was gonna, I was gonna lose a lot of people. Uh, but you know what? I haven't. It's, it's still, it's growing, but it, uh, you know, it slowed down some, which is fine. But, yeah. So, uh, thank y'all for hanging in there with me, you know, and, uh, I, I think, I think the, this area up here is pretty, you know, in its own way, the, the, uh, ranching country up here. Tell you, it's a lot greener than it is out around Fort Davis, that's for sure. But, uh, Fort Davis does green up real beautifully in the, uh, when they do get rains out there, but they only get about 16 inches a year, which isn't a whole lot. But, uh, yeah. So, thank you all for hanging in there with me, and uh, yeah, I just want to, I want to give another shout out, a channel shout out. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, I've got several on my list still. Channels that I watch that have under a thousand subscribers. And, uh, I watch a lot of channels that are over a thousand, but I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and promote. I'll, I'll continue this, and I'll do the, you know, I'll, it, according to the size, I really don't, it, you know, I'll, I'll just mention all of them, and, uh, you know, in time. Look at all those cattle. Today, I'll, I'd like to give a shout out to an old boy who lives in his van. It's a high, uh, high top van, and Rusty calls his name out pretty often. He used to send Rusty uh, those uh, <laughs> dark chocolate almonds that he likes, and uh, it's it's Jim, and his name of his channel is Dogman Chronicles. And uh, like I say, he lives in a van, travels around the West. And he, uh, I believe he's a retired policeman, if I'm not wrong. And uh, takes, uh, he's got four dogs. I can't remember the breed of three of them. They're those floppy-eared dogs. They look sort of like, uh, oh, it's, it's, it's something to do with England. Uh, uh, but they're long-haired. I can't remember the name of them. And then recently... He just picked up a fourth dog uh, that uh, looks like maybe a German Shepherd mix or something named Major. Yeah, he's got uh, he's got all his dogs' names named, of course, and he he calls them his boys. And Jim goes out walking. He walks a lot, and he'll go out. He camps on uh, BLM land and national forest land. Jim camps. Uh, uh, where it's free, okay? And that's that's a cool thing about his channel. He, he can show you a lot of free places if you're into that. And he's out in Arizona right now, down south of uh, Tucson. And he goes out on, uh, takes the dogs, if the ones that want to go with him, uh, I guess dogs are real good about hanging around his van, you know? And he'll go out on long walks and uh, and video and and he talks you know he shows you the scenery and uh, the dogs are real good on his walks you know they they're not running off or he doesn't have them on leashes you know and uh, so yes check him out uh, Dogman Chronicles Jim and his dogs so uh, good luck to you Jim he co he comments on he watches my my channel. He comments every once in a while. So, uh, anyway, uh, let's see. 
be hitting uh, Poolville up here pretty quick. Uh, they're putting, look at these. These have gone up recently. Pretty good size subdivision over there to the right. Yeah. Yeah, this area is growing. Weatherford probably has uh, 30, um, 30 to 35,000 people now. So it's, uh, it's an easy, a lot of people live in Weatherford and commute to work in Fort Worth. It's an easy commute. You just hop on I-20 right there and it shoots you right into Fort Worth. So, uh, <coughs> yeah. Uh, let's see, anything else I need to talk about? We're closing in on Poolville here. I guess I'll just let y'all look at some scenery. Who did I watch this morning? Well, I led my day off with boondocking with Dennis. And then I watched Rusty. I, I put comment call on, and that's when I do my walking. I walk and listen to Rusty's comment call. Yeah, I, I made a comment this morning. He read it, and he took that ride up that Sierra Blanca ski mountain over there in Rio Doso, and I made a comment. I said, you ought to hire old Hellcat Granny to chauffeur you up there, Rusty. <clears throat> if you want to have some white knuckles, that would be... The, that would be the ride of your lifetime right there. But I think he uh I think he said he's gonna pass on that one. Yeah, yeah. I can see her driving up that mountain, huh? There's a little old cafe here. Let's see, am I gonna swing in there? There's the firemen. Firemen are there this morning. Oh, I think I'm going into Springtown. I ate there. I ate there last week, or a couple a couple weeks ago when I brought Blanca over for that nose deal. So uh, yeah, I'll cut it. I'll I'll cut this thing off here in just a second. Let's get on through Poolville. I've showed you Poolville before. I want to. I want to. It's Peaster and Poolville. They're about seven miles apart, and there's. Neither one of them is uh, what you would call a metropolis. There's a Poolville Elementary School. All right, guys, here's a wide spot right here, and we're just about out of Poolville. Peace out. Stay blessed. There's a donut shop. Stay positive and stay healthy. And I'll be talking to you later. Adios, my friends. Bye-bye.